believe that um, pornography today is like uh, tobacco was 70 years ago. 70 years ago people said tobacco is not addictive and it's not harmful. And that's what some people are saying about pornography today. I happen to believe that it is addictive and it is harmful. I've seen it. It's undermining marriages, it's undermining relationships, and uh, ultimately if someone gets divorced that affects the government because we end up with more children and, and spouses on government uh, welfare and other things. So I think it's a debate we should be having. Ha having. There's 12-step groups in this state and other states full of men and some women who didn't know it was addictive when they picked it up and, and, and it's really altered their lives and a lot of them are divorced and unhappy. Yeah, so in, in Utah, we have a we have in state code we've had for years, we've had a statute called harmful materials to minors, so that's usually the definition I point to. Uh, but I'm going to defer to what a U.S. Supreme Court justice said 50 years ago. I know it when I see it. And we don't get into the nitty-gritty of saying Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition versus, you know, graphic, violent sex on the internet. So we're, we're not, we're, we're just calling pornography and we can let people draw their own conclusions as to what that means. So we're not trying to ban masturbation. And, you know, and some people are exposed to porn and they shake that off and that's fine. Other people, um, it stays with them. And that's the thing is if you take drugs, the drugs, they're going to eventually leave your system. Uh, if your mind records a pornographic image, I mean, that, that may haunt you, that may stay with you the rest of your life. And that's one of the reasons why I think it is dangerous.